Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is April and this is Crafting Kamamas. So today I'll be showing you guys how I sublimate baby blankets. Um, disclaimer, as always. <laughs> this is the second time I'm making one, so I hope I don't mess up. Um, but the first time I made it, I made it for my baby niece, uh, Isla, and I loved how it came out, so... I'm going to be doing another design for my nephew that will be arriving in the next couple of months. So I'm going to make like a little um, baby gift basket for him. So today I'll be working with Hippo sublimation paper and the ink that they have. I've always used their ink, um, which I love. I absolutely love the colors. Um, so I was super excited to find out that they made sublimation paper. And I tested it out the other day making bat packs. And look, <laughs> the quality of just look how vibrant that is, right? <laughs> so, if you guys are interested in how to make the blank, uh, the backpacks, I can do another video on it. But today, I'm just gonna show you the blanket. So, I don't know where um, other people get their baby blanket blanks i've seen people get it on amazon i've seen people um do like other sites but i happen to just be shopping at tj maxx and aimlessly found <laughs> baby blankets this is 7.99 um and 30 by 40 inches and it's 100 percent poly um it's not pure white it's kind of got like an off white to it which uh, i think it's cute because nobody wants pure white white for babies you know what i'm saying um so this is the one i used for the first blanket that i had made and it came out beautiful so i'm going to use the same one um yeah obviously you find it in the baby section i know walmart sells some mm, poly blankets i've seen people say five below has some so uh the thing about tj maxx is you're not going to get the same items in stock all the time so you just kind of have to hope for the best um yeah. So I've already um, printed out the sheets. I printed out nine total um, because that's how many sheets you need to fill the 30 by 40 blanket. Uh, my paper is the standard 8.5 by 11, I believe. Um, and so for this design, I printed out um, the big, the main one, the big K. Um, five copies because it's going to be four corners and the center one if that makes sense and then the other design is going to be in the I printed four and it's going to be in the the one by yeah you know what I'm saying I'll show a visual later but um yeah let's get started so I went ahead and lint rolled already, um, and then if you can kind of see, the plush is really like, not sensitive, but you know what I'm saying, like, make sure that before you place your design down, that all the fiber or plush or whatever it's called is kind of laying in all the same direction. Um, I went ahead and taped each of the corners as straight as possible. And then I kind of just did one huge or two pieces of butcher paper. Um, which I know is kind of a waste, but I don't really have the time to cut each one into size. I use an Easy Press 2 for everything, the 12 by 10, which is the perfect size. Um, and I kind of do uh, 385 degrees for 60 seconds. I don't use any pressure, if you can see. I can just kind of lay it there. This is me having a slight panic attack, making sure it comes out great. And it did. Look at that. Alright, so this is the final results. So cute. So cute. So you see like the little press lines? Those go away in the wash. I just don't want to wash it because I'm going to give it. But it actually kind of works out because it just kind of looks like it's a grid. If that makes sense. So what I'm going to do... Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put this back in the original packaging so I can make it look all cute. And I'll be right back. All right. 
I'm ashamed um, to tell you how long it actually took me to kind of hang it back up. It's a little off still and it bothers me so much, but it is what it is. Alright, so I'll show you guys how I like making like these custom little baby shower gifts. Um, I fast forward this because I talk way too much. <laughs> Um, so basically, I get those baskets from Teeter Max, Ross, Marshalls, um, Target has some, and it kind of just ranges from like $6 to $15 or so, depending on the size that you get. And then I kind of just get like little essentials, and I kind of fill it up just like that. Cute! I might add some more fillers up here just to raise it up, but I don't want to do that right now. This is it.